Iran has been at war with us for decades. They have militant sleeper cells in Britain ready to rise up and attack us, and the taxpayer has been funding them. That's the allegation. This is the very definition of a Trojan horse. On Saturday night, Iran sent more than 300 missiles and drones to Israel. 99% of them were intercepted. But it's been sending another kind of weapon to us here in Britain, radical Islamist clerics. They have a base right here in the UK. That base is the Islamic centre of England in Maida Vale, London. But its tentacles spread out around the country. Its director is appointed by Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini. The UK has granted 100 visas to Iranian religious figures since 2005, with 21 of them issued to clerics who are trained by and must remain loyal to the Islamic Republic of Iran. We have been granting visas to signed up members of a violent totalitarian despotic Islamist regime. They reportedly want to impose blasphemy laws in Britain and have organised protests outside cinemas showing a film called The Lady of Heaven involving the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad, Batley Grammar School where a teacher showed a picture of the Prophet to some kids and in Wakefield where an autistic boy dared to scuff a copy of the Koran and his mum had to beg for forgiveness from the local mosque. The Islamic Centre of England's directors since 1994 have all been named as representatives in the UK of Iran's supreme leader. They have vigils for Qasem Soleimani, the head of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Apparently he's a great martyr. As if this wasn't bad enough, we've allowed the Islamic Centre of England to become a registered charity. It has more than £4.2 million in reserves, reportedly, and the taxpayer even forked out for furlough money for it during Covid to the tune of a quarter of a million pounds. Iran is trying to influence political, religious, educational and cultural organisations as well as whip up protests. And they can do it because we grant them visas, allow them to freely travel back and forth between Tehran and England and even let the taxpayer pay their wages. The Trojan horse is real. It is here. We let it in. It is time to deport that Trojan horse right now. These people are not here to assimilate. They are not here to get along with us. They hate us, they hate our way of life, and they want to eradicate us.